headlines, the federal government inaugurates gas infrastructure fund. Federal government declares war on pipeline vandals, oil thieves. NCDMB SON orders top 2022 PEBEC list. Hello and welcome to Value Chain News. I am Naomi Oleribe. The federal government yesterday formally floated the Governing Council of the Midstream and Downstream Gas Infrastructure Fund, MDGIF, in line with the dictates of the new Petroleum Industry Act, PIA. The federal government stated that over $20 billion will be needed yearly in the next 10 years to bridge the gas infrastructure gap in the country, which could exceed $200 billion in a decade. At the inauguration of the nine-member council in Abuja, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timmy Persilva, explained that the move would help fix the critical missing link in the government's efforts to develop the country's gas sector. He charged the new members to mobilize the funds for the provision of the critical infrastructure for the gas subsector. Silver said the inauguration of the council was a further demonstration of the commitment of President Muhammadu Buhari to, re to reposition the nation's energy sector to drive economic development and prosperity for our people and the nation and add value to the partners in accordance with the Petroleum Industry Act, PIA. Silver noted that although the federal government had put in place several programs towards achieving the Decade of Gas Initiative and developing the huge gas potentials of the country, the missing link was the absence of the basic gas infrastructure to help realize the objective. The federal government yesterday vowed to bring down its mind on vandals and oil thieves who are sabotaging the nation's economy. The Minister for Interior, Mr. Raouf Arebresola made a declaration at the inauguration of eight gunboats acquired for use by the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps NSCDC in Port Harcourt, just as he charged the security forces to collaborate to end the scourge. He said those who steal crude oil not only deny the country of the much needed revenue, they sell the stolen goods at discounted prices well below the market value. President Buhari has given the resources and the marching order to take the war to them. As a step in this direction, the federal government is taking adequate steps to equip relevant security agencies and by extension, the NSCDC, which is the lead agency in the protection of critical national assets and infrastructure. According to the minister, the government was not oblivious of the dangers crude oil theft portends for the country noting that the value of such thefts is estimated to be in billions of dollars. The Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council, PEBC, has released its 2021-2022 Executive Order E01 Compliance Reports with five Nigerian organizations emerging tops. A statement signed by the Special Advisor to the President, Ease of Doing Business, and PEBC Secretary, Dr. Jumoke Oduwole, said that after a careful evaluation, the Secretariat arrived at the winners for the period under review. PEBC was established in July 2016 by President Muhammadu Buhari to remove critical bottlenecks and bureaucratic constraints to doing business in Nigeria and the Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo chairs the council. The overall top performing ministries, departments and agencies MDAs during the period included the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board NCDMB, which emerged first with 81.48% and the Standard Organization of Nigeria SON, which came second with 77.38%. Oduwale noted that it was in keeping with its promise to track the ongoing compliance with executive order on the promotion of transparency and efficiency in the Nigerian business environment and to document the impact of the PEBC reform agenda. The group chief executive officer of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NMPC Limited, Mala Mele Kiari yesterday revealed that the country would end importation of petroleum products by June 2023. 
Kiari made a revelation yesterday during the media briefing at the State House in Abuja, noting that the combination of outputs from the Dangote refinery and the national oil company's four refineries would eliminate any importation of petroleum products into this country. He also said the Lagos based 650,000 barrels per day Dangote refinery, which is under construction would start producing petrol by the middle of next year with a capacity of 50 million litres daily. The NNPC boss explained that as Nigeria's population and demand grew, so did the amount of petrol required in the country. He reaffirmed that NNPC owns 20% of the Dangote refinery and has first right of refusal to supply crude oil to the plant. In Italy now, Italy has been hit following Russia's decision to cut gas supplies to Europe, thereby halting supplies via the Nord Stream 1 pipeline. Gazprom said it was stopping supplies via Nord Stream 1 for three days due to maintenance work, adding that Italy would get around 20 million cubic meters of gas on Wednesday, down from around 27 million in recent days. And in business now, the Nigerian Economic Summit Group, NESG, yesterday expressed concern over the, declining, over the declining rate in cultivation of food crops by farmers due to insecurity. Chief Operating Officer Dr. Tayo Adzuloju, who stated this in Abuja at the Agriculture and Food Security Nexus Validation and Consolidation Meeting, said there is a huge supply-demand gap across all food crops as the country is not producing enough to meet local demand. According to him, the trend has forced the country to import more food products than it should be exporting. Adoloju, who is also the project director for the High Level Forum on the Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, said there was urgent need to make the country's food sufficient. And now, let's have a quick look at oil prices and exchange rates today. As oil prices and exchange rates today, ensure to follow us on all our social media platforms via Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. While you are at it, don't forget to subscribe to our official YouTube handle to gain first access to all our news and content. Thank you for watching. I am Naomi Oleribi. Good afternoon. <music>